Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. Welcome to Futurama Summer Fun Reviews, which is part of 22 Tiger Dude TV Show Reviews. So if you guys saw my final animation domination video, I gave you guys a little update telling you that I'm going to be reviewing new episodes of Futurama all summer long. It's the season premiere of the second half of season seven and i know you guys are gonna want to know my opinion on the first half of season seven unfortunately i do not have any time to do that so i am gonna show you guys very quickly uh, based on my scores what i thought of the episodes but first very quick let me show you a chart on how the scale works in case you're not aware Based on my scores, here are my thoughts on each of the episodes on the first half of Season 7 of Futurama. And this episode, it's about when Professor Farmsworth, he modifies the Planet Express ship, but Leela doesn't like it. So then Farnsworth decides to not be part of the Planet Express crew anymore. He becomes very rebellious and he joins this rebellious group. And then once Leela starts to see that Professor Farnsworth is at a new group, Leela and Farnsworth, they challenge each other to a drag race because Leela, she had the much safer ship just to protect the crew. So then when Leela and Farnsworth are doing their little move, they actually get transported into this 2D dimension. How did the start of the second half of season 7 go? Fantastic. This was an amazing episode of Futurama. I love it. As season seven as a whole, this is just one of the best episodes that this season has to offer. And this is sadly the final season of Futurama according to Comedy Central and the promos, but hopefully it'll get revived again. I thought how this episode was handled was just brilliant. The animation, the show of course, is just all around fantastic. There were a lot of comedic moments in this episode that really made me laugh out loud so hard. And then the drag racing scenes, oh my goodness, they were animated just so well. It just looked so beautiful. It was just very exciting. I seen Professor Farnsworth being all rebellious. It was just hilarious. Leela and this much safer ship was funny too. And then we don't get into the 2D part until the last 10 minutes of the episode. And while I wish we could have gotten a whole episode with the 2D, I didn't complain because the drag racing scenes and how the storyline was written, how it was planned, I thought it was so brilliant that I didn't mind the fact that the 2D part was only in the last 10 minutes. And once again to this 2D dimension world, it was really funny and how it looked was really cool too. The pace is just so well done. It's a magnificent episode, great drag racing scenes, great animation, great pacing, great comedy moments. I love this episode. So I'm going to get a 10 out of 10. 10. What a blast. And this one, it's about when Fry and Leela want to have their alone time, but they can't because everyone's always interrupting them. You know, they're not having their privacy. And so they go on this island where they can relax, but then along the way, Leela met meets up with her ex and you could kind of guess where it's going to go from there. And then the subplot, the gang is going to the planet zoo. You actually saw Gunther the monkey there, which was cool to see him again, by the way. There's a little twist in that plot that happens, which was hilarious, but I'm not going to spoil for you guys. And so with that being said, this was a really good episode. It's not as good as... 2D Blacktop, the episode I just reviewed right now, but it was still a really enjoyable episode. I think the comedy moments for most of the part were really nice, 
And it's nice to see more of the Fry and Leela relationship right here. And I thought how the episode was just written overall was really good. I was impressed by it. If I have to say my flaws with this episode, to be honest though, it's just that it does get a little boring a couple of times. There are uh, certain misses in terms of the comedy aspects. I didn't like Leela here. I didn't like how even though she and Fry are, are supposed to enjoy their alone time, she goes to her ex, Sean, instead. And I just found that to be pretty messed up. All around, I think it's really brilliant. A lot of funny moments, enjoyable writing, enjoyable plots. But to be honest, I enjoyed the subplot just a bit more. Fry and Leela's big fling. Not as good as 2D Blacktop, but it's still really enjoyable. I still recommend it, especially if you love Futurama just like me. And I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. A well done start to the second half of season 7. Can't wait to review more new episodes of Futurama this summer. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. Comment your opinion on this Futurama episode. And don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!